I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios. We are here at AWS reInvent 2024, and we are going to talk about flexibility and stability in the cloud and what you can do to help grow your business and achieve the outcomes that you're looking for. I'm joined now by two wonderful guests from SUSE. We have Christine Puccio, the Global Vice President of Cloud at SUSE, as well as Ollie Reese, the VP of Product Management at SUSE. Welcome, thank you for making the time today. Hey. Good to meet you, Steph. Thank you. Um, as I mentioned, flexibility and stability. How do these things actually come together because they sound uh, disparate, but they're really not. One can definitely work with the other. I'd like to talk about how SUSE's partnership with AWS can, and, and given that SUSE has this open source foundation from its very inception, how can you help companies strike this balance while growing themselves? Well, I mean, I think our partnership with AWS is very strong. It's been over 15 years we've been uh, working together and started dominantly really in the operating system space uh, around SLAS and SLAS for SAP. And the reason why, when we talk about flexibility, a lot of what SUSE provides is choice for customers. And that is within many communities that we were a part of that we actually develop um, and contribute to, and AWS as well. So I think because of that root and that foundation is some of the is some of the ways that we get to innovate together to make sure that when applications are running on just a basic operating system or infrastructure, that we're able to provide more flexibility with whatever workload is, is running on, on those, and SAP being one of the enterprise workloads. How do you view this, this flexibility and stability? If you're looking, tying this back to flexibility and stability, Look at what SUSE has done over 30 years. If you look around here at the show, a lot of it is driven by open source as the growth engine. Right. And SUSE has a 30 year history of actually stabilizing open source, taking the work of many, many people and, and making it into, turning into enterprise software offering. And flexibility really resonates with choice. That's what we offer to our customers, no vendor lock-in. And so I think that's a great tie-in. One of the other things when we are having conversations uh, throughout this particular event is folks talking about observability. And we're talking about this in these complex distributed IT ecosystems. And I really want to know um, from your perspective, what is observability and how can we better help achieve goals in that aspect? If you look at years ago, the promise to cloud was very simple. It was, I'm going to grab a workload that's on-prem and I'm going to deploy it in the cloud. Then you had security, layer on security issues. Then you layer on, oh, multi-cloud. Oh, then you layer on edge and then you layer on on-prem. That has become so complex so that you now disparate your data is in various places, your workloads are in various places, so you actually need layers now to look at the, and observe the behavior of applications or do the, are there any bad actors because of security, so observability becomes crucial because of that tangled web, and I don't know. I mean, yeah, and if you take it further, Observability is not new, right? A lot of companies around here do observability, um, but it is a very important step in operations of the, the software platforms that they're running. And it, with the genesis now of AI and the utilization of GPUs, for example, right, there's a whole set of new use cases for observability to, to observe GPU utilization, for example, to observe you know, AI workloads and how whether training models have been tampered with. And so there's a whole new um, peak in the importance of, of observability. So SUSE has two offerings in this space that I want to make sure I give you an opportunity to talk about. We've got SUSE Cloud Observability and Rancher Prime Observability. Can you explain those to me? Yeah, so if you look at our portfolio, um, we have what we call a Rancher Prime. That's our um, enterprise container management system. Uh, SUSE acquired that probably like three to four years ago uh, through Rancher. Um, and we've taken it forward, taken it to our Fortune 500 customers. And it's the leading um, enterprise container management platform that does not provide vendor lock-in. With the acquisition of Stack State in June this year, we have now taken the capability of observability that Stack State provides to SUSE into the Rancher Prime portfolio. So every SUSE customer um, gets observability for free right there with, as being, for being part of the Prime portfolio. Um, but we recognize that there's a large need and we have a large 
outside of our commercial customers, we also have a large following in our open source users. And so SUSE Cloud Observability will help address the observability needs of that cohort um, without having to be an enterprise customer of SUSE. And so we think that's a great offering to address a larger um, cohort, um, as well as then taking it back to AWS, you know, all of the EKS users, for example, that will benefit from, from that. And even, even to take it a step further too, it's the first um, entry into uh, developing a software as a service model. So customers usually are in, in a community or, or just want quick access to software, want to be able to quickly deploy it. And so that was another uh, accessibility of the software itself. And in fact, we were even providing um, a six month trial so they can provide feedback as true community stewards and open source. We want to understand what is it what is it that you like about it? Is there anything that we can do to improve? How would you how would you co-develop with us? So that really I'm really excited about where we're going with our software development internally and what we're delivering back to our customers. The open source roots that SUSE has and its commitment to maintaining that through the decades is just so impressive to me and really just goes to show the great partnership between your end user, right? Helping you also engineer what's to come even for your enterprise customers. Christine, Ollie, thank you so much for making the time to come down and speak to me today. Thank you, yeah. Steph. I'm Steph Strickland, you're watching GeekWire Studios.